To be sick, to throw up, to puke, to hurl, to spew, to upchuck, to good old-fashioned vomit. It's hardly a question for the dinner table, but it does still get asked a lot. Can hamsters vomit? Or on the other side of things, my hamster has just vomited. What do I do? Or I've just seen videos of hamsters vomiting. But there is one teeny tiny little issue with all these videos and stories of hamsters vomiting. And that is quite simply that hamsters cannot vomit. In fact, while there are many mammals, including obviously humans, who can throw up if we need to, there are also many mammals who cannot, and one particular group of mammals who cannot vomit are rodents. In 2013, a study was conducted to finally discover the biological reasoning for rodents not being able to vomit. During that study, they discovered that rodents had particular bodily constraints that would limit how much they could vomit, even if they could attempt it. These constraints included reduced muscularity of the diaphragm as well as a stomach that's not structured for moving contents up the throat. The study also suggested that rodents in fact lack the brain circuits required for them to be able to vomit. So regardless of whether they need to, throwing up is biologically not an option for these animals, which is one of the reasons it's so important that you are very careful about what your pet hamster or other pet rodent consumes. Anything that they eat is not coming back out of the emergency exit. This is why rats and mice are often so easy to poison, because they can't throw it back up. Now putting the nastiness aside for a minute, we've established that hamsters can't vomit. So what is actually going on when you see a hamster throwing up? What you're actually seeing is your hamster emptying their cheek pouches out, which for some of you may have just been the obvious second answer. But for many people, especially those who didn't realize that hamsters had cheek pouches, this may actually come as news to you. A lot of people also have misconceptions that when hamsters put food in their cheek pouches, the food stays whole. But a lot of the times the hamsters will chew the food up beforehand so they can store more of it in their pouches. It takes up less space. So when they empty their pouches of chewed up food and whole food and sometimes even liquids, it can definitely resemble vomit and sometimes can even smell like it too. But the good news is it's absolutely nothing to worry about. It's perfectly normal. It's not a sign that your hamster is unhealthy or unwell. It's not something you need to rush to your vets about. At this point, some people might be saying, but I thought hamsters only emptied their cheek pouches into their hoard. So why is my hamster emptying their pouches in their playpen or on the floor or in my lap or somewhere that's just not very nice. If your hamster regularly plays in a playpen or free ranges around a room, they may start building up hordes in these areas because they're used to going to them. If they're going to be coming back to the same place again and again, it's a good idea in their minds to have a snack hidden away somewhere just in case they get peckish. But I think people tend to question pouch emptying a little bit more when it's in an inconvenient place. When they're clearly not trying to store it, they just do seem to stop and throw it up. While it isn't known with absolute certainty why they do this, it is strongly believed to be linked with stress, a reaction to a perceived threat, or a reaction to a new, unfamiliar environment. Hamsters are able to move more quickly and squeeze into smaller spaces if they don't have a huge load of food on the side of their faces, so oftentimes when they think that something is going to be chasing them, when they feel stressed, when they feel threatened, they will immediately empty their pouches and run for it. <laughs> or in the case of many pet hamsters, they'll just empty their pouches into your hand and then expect you to clean it up. It does appear that hamsters feel more comfortable running without food in their cheek pouches, which would explain why they often empty them when they're inside an exercise ball or right before using their wheel. Occasionally, a hamster may repouch the food later on, but oftentimes they will just leave it and go and find something else. So if your hamster does empty their cheek pouches, feel free to just clean it up and throw it away. Hopefully this information has reassured those of you who were concerned, who have witnessed this in the past and didn't know what was going on. It's nothing scary to worry about perfectly normal, if a little gross. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.